News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. And welcome to another news update at 2 p.m. with me, David White. What do we have going on today? Well, certainly uh, a market that uh, was down and out at the open only to uh, come back. Uh, I would look at this in the Wyckoff method of needing a close above 36.36. Uh, we're up 2.4% on the day after being down 2% uh, right after the open. Uh, that was on some fairly uh, uh, hot numbers on inflation. Uh, I think we had a few things going on today that we can't confirm. Uh, probably the Treasury um, doing a lot in the uh, dollar, uh, and uh, let me, oh, I have that up right now. I have a little start right here on the DX, but certainly um, not too far after that. There was a lot of action, and there's a couple of ways you can explain it. But at the moment, uh, my belief is that finally uh, we had some people stepping in. And it probably wasn't the uh, FOMC, but, uh, you know, Treasury, any of these uh, other agencies can go in. Uh, market looked like it was going to blow itself apart, and, of course, it came back. We've been talking uh, on the show about how it certainly looked like a lot of people were betting on the Fed blinking. Uh, I see no evidence of that at the moment. Uh, uh, some of the other things, of course, um, that make us think that the market turned around this morning was a uh, fairly big uh, pop down by Taiwan Semiconductor. Uh, it was down like 5 or 6%. It's up uh, about 5% now on the day. Uh, probably the best earnings I've ever seen out of uh, Taiwan Semi. And uh, we've got some other earnings we're going to talk about in the hour that follows. But uh, earnings actually fairly good. We'll be back in a minute. The reality is that navigating financial markets